Alrighty guys, what is going on? I hope you guys are all having a great and an amazing day today. Now in today's episode, we're going to be talking about the top stocks under 50 bucks. So I hope you guys enjoy it overall. I hope you guys learned something. But before we jump into the episode, I want you guys to go ahead and check out my blog, moneywithcarter.com, talking about investing, money management, trading stuff you guys would definitely benefit from. So now, roll the intro, let's jump into the episode. We'll see you at the computer. Let's go. Alrighty guys, so the very first stock here is ticker symbol KO. This is also known as Coca-Cola. Now the reason why I love Coca-Cola, the very first reason is they are the dividend king. Right now I'm building a dividend portfolio that pays me $1,000 per month. So obviously you guys can tell I have a couple shares of it. Now the reason why I got into this is because we get this slow growth of this stock going up in value. This stock has a beautiful upward trend and we're gonna be getting paid a nice dividend of around 40 cents per share per quarter, which is pretty nice. So I do think that uh, Coke does have a lot of long-term potential and they have been paying you know, dividends for like 55 years. So I don't think that we really have to worry about that too much. Also, Warren Buffett owns a ton of shares of it and we all know Warren Buffett as being one of the greatest investors of all time. So I do think that there's a lot more potential and a lot more money to be made with Coca-Cola. So moving on to stock number two here, this is also known as eBay. So eBay honestly has been performing very well lately as you guys can see. It does look like a nice choppy chart, but if you look and draw out all the lows, you can see we do have this nice little upward trend. The trend is your friend. So I do think that this stock does have a lot of potential. And I do think that they, since they started paying a dividend, I think getting into the stock just for the dividend alone would be an excellent idea. Also, I do think that this stock's gonna have a lot of competition in about five to six years. The reason why is because Amazon's gonna start rolling out users to be able to sell you know used items on their store and we all know amazon is being the largest you know web-based uh online selling platform in the whole world so i do think that that's going to definitely take a huge market share from ebay but that doesn't mean there's no money to be made i think there's definitely money to be made all the way up until that five-year mark and then one, once they get a lot more competitors that's going to be kind of when I hop out of it or when we see a kind of downward trend in the market is when I would hop out of this one. So the third one here is Live Nation Entertainment. Now, the reason why I love this one, as you guys can see, this this stock has outperformed the S&P 500, Dow Jones, NASDAQ. Really, the stock went from like $22 all the way up to 76 bucks in a very short amount of time, you know, in a couple of years. We had this nasty fall from the whole recession, which made this stock extremely undervalued. Also, Mark Cuban bought a ton of shares of this, so his, you know, his name being behind this stock is going to definitely have a lot of people turning their heads, looking at the stock, and getting a lot of people investing in this company, which is amazing. The downside of owning this stock is they don't pay a dividend, but you're going to be getting more of a growth stock rather than a dividend-paying stock. So it kind of balances out. So the fourth one here is ticker symbol BAC, also known as Bank of America. Bank of America normally trades between $35 and about $23. And since this stock's about $21 and it fell very large from the whole recession, this is making this stock very, very affordable. You know, it's like buying it all the way back here in, you know, 2015. So I do think that getting in with a couple of shares of this position is amazing also banks honestly have been saying that they aren't really worried about this whole recession they have enough cash to get through it and banks look in good shape so that's why i kind of hopped into this position so moving on to the last and final one here we have ticker symbol o this is also known as the realty income corp you guys can see look at all these dividends they are a monthly dividend paying stock they are also known as a reit the reason why I love REITs is because they do have to pay 90% of their revenue back to investors as, as dividends or some sort of you know incentivized um, purchase. So you guys can see that this stock is at $50. It is a little over 50, but that doesn't mean you can't get into this stock at a more of affordable price. You guys can see that this stock came all the way down here at around $30. So there's definitely a lot of money to be made in the long run with this. Also, you get this beautiful upward trend, you guys can see, and you're gonna be getting the you know dividends coming in every single month, which is gonna make your money compound a lot faster. So that is it though. I hope you guys enjoyed the top stocks under 50 bucks. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys learned something, make sure you guys smash the like button so more people can see it. So we'll see you guys tomorrow in another episode. Take care and have a good rest of your day. Stay safe. Roll the outro.